हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कूल आईटी हेल्प दिस इज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड ट्यूटोरियल सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट जुपिटर नोटबुक इन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड दिस इज द फोर्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन जुपिटर नोटबुक्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो गाइस वी विल सी हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट अ जुपिटर नोटबुक एज ए पाइथन फाइल एज अ पी फाइल और एज एन एच फाइल so dot py file or dot html file export is very easy but you will face the problem when you are going to export your notebook as a pdf file so i'm going to tell you how you can do it we need to install few software we have to avoid few errors okay so i have explained everything uh, in detail let's begin so guys uh, for the pdf export we need the text software which must be installed so we are going to install it first this is the link and the same link given in description you can get this link from that place so i have just opened here that link and this is the m i k t e x the software name which we are going to install basically which is the uh, this is the supporting um, software that will enable visual studio code to export your jupyter notebooks into a pdf file so this is the important one okay once this installer is downloaded simply click on it and very first screen you will see this is the mik text installer this is the terms and license agreement click next at this place you can see we have the installation scope so this is recommended please install only for the current user and don't go for the all users because if you go with the all users time to time this will ask for the admin rights and admin permission so that will messed up your installation so i would suggest also this software suggest that go with the current user only now the next so this is the installation location you, on the next screen you can see this is the preferred paper size because we want to export in the pdf so pdf size will be a4 size and the installation of missing packages on the fly this is asking like if some package is missing at the time of export of the pdf this will ask you to install if something is missing so we can choose the option which is good one ask me first click next then click next and final at this place you will see the installation is in progress and guys this uh, complete process will take 5 to 10 minutes so i am just skipped that steps not recorded in this tutorial and finally we jump to the end stage and this is the final screen click okay once you have finished your installation we are ready to move further okay and one important note i want to tell you before is for exporting the jupyter notebook as a pdf file if your jupyter notebook has svg only output then this will not be displayed in the pdf to export the xp svg graphics in a pdf you guys first need to export your jupyter notebook to html file then you can simply open your the html file in the browser and then save that file as a pdf so guys now i'm here in the visual studio code we have one ipy ipynb file and this is already open because we have installed one software i want to reboot and reload the visual studio code that's why i have done it and i don't want to mess up anything at the time of running or exporting the pdf so it's it is better to restart the visual studio code okay now on the screen you can see we have one ip ynb file and we have two code cells and we have written something uh with the print 
So what exactly we need to do to export? Go to here on the right and click on these three dots. These are the under the more sections. So we have options. You can export as a Python script. This is very simple and a straightforward way. And but our target is to PDF. Select the PDF. Once you select the PDF, a file browse button will appear. Now this time you want to save the location for your PDF. Once you select the location, again you will see this prompt and on this place this is asking to install a missing package which is important without that important package nothing will be exported you can see here the line ltx cmds dot sty package is missing so we need to install it from the local repository and this is the button when you click on the change you will see this small window so here we have the option to pick that missing local package and provide it to the setup but for this we need to download all the packages on our local machine okay i will tell you how you will proceed at this situation we have to perform one more additional step before going to proceed okay just leave the visual studio code as it is we will come back here after downloading all the important packages and we will set up the local repository and then we will provide the path of the local repository at this place and everything will be shorted out okay to set up the local repository what you need to do you must have internet connection and that will be enabled because we are going to download lots of stuff from the internet For this purpose, we need to run this command and this is the command which will download all the important packages. And guys, look at here, this local package repository, this is the path of the directory in which you want to download all the packages. So I am just removing this line and I am going to run this remaining command and what will happen? This will download all the stuff in my downloads folder. Okay. So this process is lengthy and this will take 15 minutes or more if your internet connection is not much faster. So I have completed that step and uh, all the files has been downloaded successfully and a folder is created in the downloads folder. I will show you. So when you run this command, this will take much time. There are lots of files which has been downloaded. That's why it took time. So let me show you the downloaded folder, M-I-K-T-E-X. So this is the folder which has been created and all the files, all the packages are downloaded inside this folder you can run this uh, complete uh, command so you can give the path of the repository in which you can download so these are the packages and now we are back in the visual studio code and just i'm just copying this path and coming back here clicking here and giving that repository location that means giving this folder location and click finish you can see I have given the path of that downloaded folder okay once you click install this will proceed further and uh, searching that dependency which was missing and again we found the another missing package which is required and the setup is looking for that 
so when you click install that package will be searched and the installed again we found the different one so there are so many missing uh, dependencies which are required so once you uncheck this box this will not ask you again and all the missing packages will be searched in this local repository and will be installed once everything is done you can easily export your Jupyter notebook as a PDF file so I will show you now please have patience because this installation process procedure is lengthy if you are doing it first time once done this will not take much time to export your Jupyter notebook so on the right hand side you can see the progress is, is still on we are waiting to finish this one so I have stopped and I came back again now everything is ready again go to these three dots click on the export and select the PDF and you will see a box a files you can file browse so give the file name and click export on the right hand side you can see performing export and this will not take much time to export your Jupyter notebook okay finally you will see this kind of message would you like to open the exported file that means your PDF file is ready if you click yes that PDF file will be opened with this Chrome browser or a default browser you can see this is our Jupyter notebook exported as a PDF file so guys you have seen the process to export the Jupyter notebook as a PDF file okay now the last thing I want to show you we have one more option to export we have the HTML so HTML process is very simple simply select export then click the HTML and soon this will save your Jupyter notebook as a HTML file and uh, then you will get the notification on the right hand side that file is ready also you can see the file in the file explorer on the left hand side and you can simply click or simply click here yes to open the exported Jupyter notebook as HTML and file will be opened in the browser let me show you this is the file do the right click select the browser open and see here this is so guys this is all about exporting the Jupyter notebook as a Python file PDF file and HTML file in Visual Studio code I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool IT help